So, someone asks you, what is your business all about? Remember this, there are two persons that can ask you that question. Number one, someone that is already into the business. And then number two, someone that, um, an outsider or a prospect, professionally a prospect. So, let's assume a prospect, maybe a friend of yours or uh, a work colleague meets you and then asks you, what is your business about? Now, the answer to that question is a prospecting answer. Oh, wow, the business I'm doing, okay, is a project that I'm running with Realistic Dreams Initiative, where they are helping individuals, you know, to, you know, to build businesses, raise funds and capital for their various projects through their business support program. That's the answer you give. That's the prospecting answer. Remember, Anytime someone you don't know, anytime someone that is not in the business asks you a question, your answer should be an opportunity to portray the, the business in a way that they should ask you, can you tell me more about the project? Can you explain to me about the project? Okay, if you answer someone, if you answer a prospect what you're doing and the person didn't you know, pause to like ask you, can you tell me more about this? Can you explain to me more on what this thing is all about? Mm, then you didn't answer professionally. You weren't professional with your answer. So if someone meets me up right now and say, yeah, it's a business building project. Maybe I'm a retiree. Yeah, especially designed for retirees. Yeah, even though there are aspects that are not for retirees, you know, they are helping people to, you know, to build businesses, raise funds and capital. Actually, to a total of about $3 million, you know, um, you know, through their business support project, it has been a wonderful project. They mentor you, they train you, and as well support you in building businesses. Now, listen, the person will not be like, okay, three million. Once the person hears things like three million support, mm. can you tell me more about it? Can I? Can you? Can you explain more? What is the project like? What is it like? Okay, would they be giving you money, or would they be? Do you see that? You've created a kind of like you made the person to become a little bit more curious. The person wants to know more about the business. So someone you don't know asking you about what you are doing, don't answer the person as just to answer. Just know it's an invitation to prospect. It's an invitation to do what? To prospect, okay? So you just have to learn to do that. Now it's different when someone like me asks you, if I should ask you, what are you really doing in this business? Now, that's not a time to prospect to me because you know me already. You know who I am already. That's a time to tell me what you are planning to accomplish in the business. That's a time to tell me what you're planning to accomplish in the business. Okay? So, you must learn to answer that. So I'm asking you right now. I know it's easier to answer outsiders. I mean, I've thought us so well. If you are here and you don't know how to prospect, I'm sorry. You, know, you, are, missing out. you are missing out a lot. It's very simple. There's a script for it. Yeah, and let me tell you, you don't even need to be a professional. Yeah. You don't need to be a professional to answer well. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be a professional. What you need to understand is just the basis of what we are doing. Yes. And what are we doing? We are here in Realistic Dreams Initiative in their business support project, where we are being mentored, where we are being supported in building businesses that will enable us to generate as much as 3 million to 25 million within two years to four years. That's what you are doing. Just understand the, the ingredients, the unnecessary ingredients in answering a prospect. What are the necessary ingredients? If someone, I feel like giving a gift again today. Mm, my body is scratching me. I just remember that the lady I buy data from, she's not available. So let me just calm down. I feel like, give, I feel like giving a gift this morning. Mm, 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 mm. My body is scratching me. My body is scratching me. My body is scratching me. My body is scratching me to give a gift this morning. My body is scratching me heavily. <laughs> okay, so um, you should be able to answer with or without gift. Can someone tell me the four basic ingredients of a good prospecting script? Four basic ingredients of a good prospecting script. 
Okay, I need someone that will raise the sign to answer me. Hmm? I need someone that will answer me. Someone should answer me. Okay, I can see Mr. Emmanuel Obeche. Oh, I can I can see your sound is not activated. I need someone to answer me. Mr. Emmanuel, can you hear me? Someone should help Mr. Emmanuel Obeche. Okay, let me chat to you up. Check, check. I'm chatting you up. I'm chatting you up. Click on the mic sign and select calling over internet. Okay, someone said I should repeat the question. Okay, and my question goes this way. The four major ingredients of your prospecting script. Now those major ingredients, if you understand that, and you, and you have it in every of your response to a prospect, then that means you're a professional when it comes to prospecting. Four major ingredients of a prospecting script. Four major ingredients. Okay, Emmanuel Obeche, you can hear me now, right? Yeah. Okay, four major ingredients of a prospecting script. I know some of you are good. You, you, you checking your notes now. <laughs> you checking your notes now, I'm sure. You checking your notes, all right? So let me open it up for us on our notes. Nobody is answering, meaning that you are checking your notes. That's what you're doing now. <laughs> you checking your notes, I'm sure. Okay, you know what? Check your notes. Let me even know those of you that can check your notes that do write down a lesson in your notes. Well, so oh yeah, check your notes and tell me. Yeah, check your notes and then answer me. Four major ingredients of a good prospecting script according to the RDI uh, prospecting material. Uh, and there's a material we have on prospecting. I need four major ingredients. If you, I need you to give it to me. Okay, let me open up the manual we have on prospecting and inviting. Okay, and then maybe at the end of this presentation, I'm gonna be sending the PDF to us to read, okay? I will send you the PDF format of the book. Of That's our manual, prospecting manual, all right? I will send it to you to read. That's our material. So let me just show us that, and then we can move to the next part. All right, look at it here. Okay. All right, here is a near perfect script. Okay, all right. Hello, Sam. Blah, 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 blah. They will contain a thing your legibility. Now, there are four major ingredients here I needed you to see. Four major ingredients I needed you to see. Four major ingredients. Four major ingredients of a good prospecting script. All right. Then look at what it is here. The first one is what? Trust. All right, so that is it. Trust. I'm coming, please. Let me. Um, okay. I'm sorry, I'm trying to share. I don't know why the sharing is not going. I'm just give me a few minutes. Let me set it up. It's like I have two files here conflicting me. Okay. I think I, I've seen the problem. I've seen the problem. All right. So here it is. Here it is. Now, the four major ingredients of a prospecting script shows you clearly your response to people. Whenever they ask you a question about your business, what it should carry. Yeah, what it should carry. Very simple. Trust, need, help, and being in a hurry. 
when you're answering them, don't answer them as someone that you are trying to get them to be joining the business. Be in a hurry. Trust. Don't assume people will believe whatever you say. So you have to use credible words. Need. Pick a need. So you answering someone, you, you, you have to portray that you are with a trusted organization or with a trusted system. And then number two, you must showcase the need that the system is fulfilling for you. Then number three, you must also showcase the support you're receiving. So number four, you must be in a hurry. Let me give you a perfect example. Hello, Mr. Noni. What are you doing right now? What's up now? What's going on now? Oh, my dear. Ah, my dear, a whole lot is happening. Right now, I'm actually with a support. I'm, in, I'm actually in a support project of an NGO, Realistic Dreams Initiative. I don't know whether you've heard of them before. Oh, Yo, you've not heard of them. Okay. They have a business support project where they are helping selected individuals in building businesses. And then their aim is to help us to make a raise over 3 million to 25 million naira within you know, a couple of months. Okay. So, and it has been an exciting moment. And I'm so delighted to be in the project. Simple. I'm not answering the guy to join the business. So I'm in a hurry. I'm very snappy. I'm in a business support project of Realistic Dreams Initiative where they are helping selected individuals to build businesses and raise funds and capital to the tune of almost 3 million to 25 million dollars in a couple of months. Did you see what I did? Now, let me break down this response to you. Trust is with an international organization, Realistic Dreams Initiative. What's the need? The need is to, you know, to, you know, to raise money for my personal projects, three million to, you know, twenty-five million naira within a short period of time. Help where they are being supported, where we are being supported, we are being mentored and being, you know, um, supported to build businesses. What is the hurry? The hurry has to do with the attitude with which you use in responding, and then again, you know, putting like a limit to the people that they are selecting. So you, you, you hear me use the word where they help selected persons. You do you see that? Where they help selected persons. So that your friend wouldn't feel like, oh, it's open for everybody. Okay, yeah, I'm in a business support project of Realistic Dreams Initiative where they're helping selected you know, persons in every state. And I was lucky to be among them in building businesses that were enable, you, enable us to earn over 25 million in a couple of months. And it has been an exciting moment, I'm telling you. I need to be know you are not aware of it. You didn't see that? Now, that was not an opportunity to tell me to answer the person. Some of you, that would be an opportunity for you to say something like, eh hey, eh hey, hey. oh, I've not told you about it. Oh, hmm. It's a wonderful business. You, you have not joined. No, 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 no. You have been unprofessional. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Someone sees you with a product and or sees you, you know, doing something that has to do with the business and actually, what are you really doing? You, that, that is not a time to say things like, eh hey, hey. Oh, I've not told you about it yet. Oh my God, I don't know why I forgot. Can you imagine that? You are being needy. You are not being professional. You're not being professional. That's not the time to say that. You must be in a hurry. Oh, oh, oh I didn't even know. You. I didn't even. I wasn't even aware that you noticed. Okay, it's actually a business support project um, under Realistic Dreams Initiative where they are helping selected individuals in building businesses and enabling them to raise between three million to twenty-five million naira in a couple of months. 16 months is a couple of months. After all, even Baba God in heaven says a thousand days is like a day before him. So a couple of months where they're helping us to raise good businesses, you know, in make it, raise funds and capital for our projects in a couple of months. You have been in a hurry. You have been a professional. You are showing off the need, being fulfilled. Everybody wants to make money for their project. Everybody has a project to execute. Trust. This with an international organization, Realistic Dreams Initiative. Did you see that? How many of you understand my response? How many of you understand what I just did now? Let me see, wave your hand. If you understood this. If you respond to someone and the person didn't ask you, can you tell me more about the project? Then you weren't professional with your response. A lot of people get confused on what I do. They're like, Money, I see you, you making money. I don't really know what you're doing. I just see you, you do seminars, you do what are you guys really doing? I don't know what you're doing. That's not a time to start telling the person about Alliance Emotion Global. That's not a time. That's not a time to tell the person, mm, they have wonderful products. That's very wrong. That's the reason why many of you don't get people invited for presentations because you don't know how to invite professionally. And if you don't know how to invite, 
Trust me, you will struggle. The most important skill, I'm telling you this now, the most important skill in the seven core discipline that will enable you to start earning six-figure to seven-figure income is prospecting and inviting. I will say it again. We have the seven core disciplines. The most important skill you need to start generating six-figure to seven-figure income, monthly income, is prospecting and inviting. Do you know why? Because this is where 99% of the work is done by you. So you better know how to do it well. So let me just give you just a rundown. If you know how to prospect and invite professionally, that means that a lot of people will be demanding of you to attend the live Zoom meeting. And in the live Zoom meeting, are you the one talking? No. A lot of people will want to have the business shared with them one-on-one. -on -one. And in one-on-one -on -one sharing, we have a recorded video that you can watch. So are you the one in the video? The answer is no. So there are tools that can help you with the presentation. Talking about closing, I'm the one that does the presentation I close. Majority of the times they chat me up and tell me I'm interested. So I have their contacts in my follow-up list. And then you too, even in the follow-up, I still send you scripts you will send to them for follow-up. So sometimes I send out scripts, okay? I, I had to relax for almost two weeks for my scripts because I just finished sending scripts that showed people the transition in the amount. So this week, we are spending about two to three follow-up scripts. Do you see that? Handling of questions and objections. You can actually use what we call the ABC rule. That is where you are the bridge, connecting your prospects to your leader. Okay, you know what? Let me connect it to my upline. To my, no, don't use the word upline. Let me connect it to my supervisor, to my top mentor. Don't use the word upline. That's not professional. That's not easy. What we call a professional jargon. It's a jargon. The person you are talking to doesn't know what is upline. And people already, they have a mind. Once they hear upline, downline, they know. They, they will start thinking it's not all this traditional network marketing where they are being dragged around and you know abandoned. No, there's nothing wrong with network marketing, but the mentality people have about it is very, very wrong. So anything that will kind of like showcase the traditional network marketing mentality or picture to people or prospects before they join, we try as much as possible to do what to clear them off. That's why in my presentation, you will never hear me use the word network marketing. I don't use it. All right. So if you know how to prospect and invite, I say it again. There are many persons here. I'm very sure that's what they did. Most persons that are here that are earning so much money, most of the people that join their business, join their business because they watched the recorded video or they attended the live Zoom meeting. Okay. How many of you here end close to your first 100,000 Naira? by just people attending live Zoom meeting and watching a recorded video. Let me see you wave your hand. How many of you started earning? Okay, let me use the word. How many of you started earning just like that? Let me see you wave your hand. Let me see you wave your hand, please. If you don't unmute yourself, I'll start unmuting you because that means you are denying me. That means what you did to make money, you are saying is not true. Of course, I will unmute you and ask you, then how did you start? How many of you started earning, you know, through someone watching a recorded video or attending my live Zoom meetings. Let me see you wave your hand. How many of you started earning? You started having people joining your business. Let me see you. If you're not raising your hand, I'll start unmuting all of you that started earning. Then you'll not tell me whether you are the one that did the talking. I will unmute you. I mean it. I will unmute you. Straight. Where are they? Mama K in there, hey. Dr. Ruby Thorn, eh? Hey? Yes. Who is this, my friend? Unilamp Global. Please unmute yourself. Tell me your name. I know your name is not Unilamp. What is your name? Eunice Okapo. Huh? Eunice Okapo. Okay. Madam Eunice Okapo. All right. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So um, most of us here, 99% of us here started any money, you know, started any money, you know, through people watching our recorded video or invite you know, or attend our live Zoom meeting. So we mustn't necessarily learn how to talk. So I, I used to tell people, even deaf and dumb can do our business professionally. Because 
most of the money you will earn in this business must be earned through use of tools because tools can be duplicated, but you can't duplicate yourself. For example, 100 persons can watch my recorded video, but I may not be able to get to talk one-on-one -on -one to 100 persons. But I can have 100 persons sent directly from me, the recorded video to watch. So I do it. I can contact 100 persons today on WhatsApp and send them the recorded video and prospect to them, and they demand for the videos and I give it to them to watch. But if I should book one-on-one -on -one talk with people, even though I can talk very well, I can't get to talk one-on-one -on -one to 100 persons today. What does that show you? You will never know what is multiplication in your business until you master the use of tools and getting your team members to use tools in building their businesses. All of you here that are leaders, you don't need to manufacture what to teach your success lines. All of you here that are mentors, go get my recorded videos. Go get Eminence for God's size recorded videos. That's all. Play it. That's all. In some of my trainings, I have to play my own personal recorded video. And I will sit down there with you and I'll be listening to myself. That's all you need. You need tools. You need tools. Every training you need to master this business, we have, have done it. I've done videos on them. They are in my YouTube channel. Most of them are there. Go there, go and watch. Develop yourself. Play it with people. Your success lines. So, let's get back to the, what we were discussing earlier. When someone asks you a question about your business, it's a call to prospect professionally. And in prospecting professionally, you must have these four ingredients. Trust, need, help, and you must be in a hurry. That's what it is. So I hope that is clear. If you got what I just said today, let me see you wave your hand. If you got this explanation, so I can get to the second illustration. Let me see you wave your hand. Okay, this is what it means to be a professional. You must, building up a business is easy when you are, when you are armed with the right information. In fact, when people ask you what you are doing, let me tell you, 70 to 80 percent is the fact that they admire you and they want to know and join the business i'm telling you so it's not a time to rush them be calm eat the food slowly it's not a time to rush them don't rush them be calm be gentle it's not a time to devour them like a hungry lion be calm okay now if someone second illustration if someone like me asks you the question what are you really doing it's a different question. And because it's from someone different, and then the answer should be different. The answer should be different, seriously. Very, very, very different. So you must learn to answer me professionally. Uh, sorry for that distraction. All right, so there are two things I want you to tell me. If I ask you, what are you doing? There are two things that must be shown. And I want us to listen to me carefully. In fact, I, I shouldn't even say two things. Just one, but we cannot break it down. When I ask you, what are you really doing in the business? Your response should be, your goal, what you are trying to achieve. That's the response. What my question is about what you are trying to achieve. So depending on the time you have, you can give me your long-term goals or you can answer me, you can give me your short-term goals, but minimally you must be able to give me your short-term goals. Yes. You should be able to give me the short term goals. So look at it here. Your short term goal, all of you that are here, if you are following our system, everybody here, your short term goal should be your 90 days 
recruiting challenge. Then for those of you that have mentored, you can now step it up by telling me how many rising star mentors you intend to create. Because someone like mommy, Mama, Mama Keyinde here, you can't be just be telling me about 90 days recruiting challenge because you are a rising star mentor moving fast to become an influential mentor. Right now, you should be bothered about having at least eight rising star mentors in your team because that's what makes you an influential mentor. Right now, that's what's keeping you because you sponsor more than 20 persons in your business. Yes. You have more than seven accounts now. Yes. So what you need right now is eight rising star mentors. That's what you need. So you are not just trying to achieve your 90 days recruiting challenge. That is always our short-term goal. 90 days is just three months. If you are here and you're not running with our 90 days recruiting challenge, you are not following our system. I'll say it again. If you are here and you are not being goal-driven, and when I mean the goal, I mean the 90 days recruiting challenge. If you are not being driven, by the hunger to get it achieved, you are not following our system. What we are here to do in our millionaire school is to help you to achieve your 90 days recruiting world challenge. That's what we are here to do. Okay, let me show us the picture of that so that you, those, those of you that are maybe you, you are acting as if maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. Let me show you the picture. It's important. Let me show you the picture. Let me share it with you. Okay, I have it here. So that's it here, okay? This is the 90 days recruiting challenge. We kicked off this project uh on june 8th and it has it has been with a lot of people that have been following this if you've been following this if you have allowed your heart and your mind and everything you've got to be driven by this then you should have achieved massive success your short-term goal is to recruit 30 persons in 90 days 10 every month and to achieve 10 people every month there are three, three, three things we said you should be doing weekly. Every week, make sure 10 persons watch our recorded video through you. Every week, make sure 10 persons attend our live Zoom meeting. And every week, make sure you share the business one-on-one -on -one with people. And whenever it comes to sharing business one-on-one, -on -one, there are two things you do. Can someone answer me? What are the two major ways you can share the business one-on-one? -on -one? I need someone from the Alpha Lion team to answer me. What are the two major ways to share the business one-on-one -on -one with people. I need someone from the Alpha Lion team to answer me that question. Two major ways to share your business one-on-one -on -one with people. There are two major ways you do that. I need someone from the Alpha Lion team to answer me. I need someone from the Alpha Lion team to answer me. I will start on meeting also. I, you think I don't know you. I know you very well. Yes, very, very well. Unilam Global, Madam Eunice, unmute yourself. What are the two major ways to share the business one on one? Okay. Playing the recorded video with the person. Playing it with the person. And what's the second one? Explaining the business with the person on your own, right? All right. All right. So that That's is what it is. You got it correctly. So it's either you are the one, you have our slide, our presentation slide, and then you are explaining the business to the person, to the prospect, one-on-one, -on -one. or you bring out your phone and press play button on your phone and watch the recorded video with the person. It is different from sending the video to the person. In sending video, that is not one-on-one. -on -one. That's why we have it here. It's different. That's the first one. Ensure that 10 persons watch the business video. You are sending the video to people to watch. You are ensuring that 10 persons watch the video every week. 
We're ensuring that 10 persons attend our live Zoom meeting every week. And we're ensuring that 10 persons get to share the business. You get to share the business one-on-one -on -one with 10 persons every week. I want to tell you this. Doing this every week, in a month, you must have exposed our business to 120 persons. And I'm telling you, if you expose our business to 120 persons and you don't get 10 persons registering, I will give you a check of 100,000. You didn't hear me. If you have done it, tell me. If you expose our business, if you invited 120 persons to attend the live Zoom meeting or they watch the video in 30 days, I didn't say in three months, I didn't say your business life. In 30 days, you don't get 10 persons. I'll give you a check of 100,000. I need a challenger. Raise your hand if you want to challenge me on it. Let me see. Wait, please don't go and bring for me on my live Zoom meeting people that are not interested. Make sure you use the script to invite people. If you want to put me to test on this, let me see you wave your hand. Let me see you wave your hand. If you want to challenge me on this, let me see you wave your hand. 100K, check. 120 persons witnessing our presentation through live Zoom meeting and watching our recorded video. 120 persons. And you don't get 10 persons registering. How many of you got more than up to 10 persons, even with the less than 120 persons? Let me see with your hand. There are people here. You had more than 10 persons joining your business and you exposed it to less than 120. Let me see with your hand. If you're not waving your hand, I will mute you. Because I know some of you did it. Yes. Some of you did it. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. If you are not goal driven, you are not success driven. If what detects why you should make a prospecting call and invitation today is not your goals, the 90 days recruiting challenge goals, you are not really building anything. It's just like a man that says, I want to build a house and he doesn't have a plan. And even when an architect draws a plan for you, he takes the plan and throws inside the dustbin and calls some laborers and says he's trying to build a house. What do you think will happen to such a house? It will crumble. In fact, it's not, it will, every sensible person will look at the man and say, you are mad. You are going cocoa. You are, not, you are not sound. That is how a lot of people live their lives. They live life without a goal and without a plan. That's why they can be drift. You know, you know, you know, life can drift them everywhere. If there's a holy book, the holy book will say, do not be tossed, so you will not be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Listen to me. If you want to succeed, if you want to know what it means to have a lasting success, you must be goal driven. You must be driven by your goals and not your need. Don't be in a need of 100,000 Naira and then you are trying to build a business to get 100,000 Naira. Be goal-driven. When I have a need, what I do is that I set goals that are higher than my need and then focus on the goals because I know when I hit my goals, they need to be taken care of. So the first question, the first answer you will give me must be what you are doing to achieve your 90 days recruiting challenge. Then your second answer, if you've been taught, which I want to teach you right now, should be about what you want to achieve generally in the business. Those of you that are mentors, you should know how to answer that. That should be how many persons, how many rising star mentors you want to develop? How many persons you want to have in your organization? So look at how a professional answer should look like. You meet someone like me right now and ask me, okay, so what's up with the business? My dear, you know, every 90 days, I'm always on a move to make sure my 90 days, I'm, I recruit 30 persons in 90 days. But just, but beyond that, uh, my main goal is to have at least up to 20 rising star mentors, or look, let me break it down, at least eight rising star mentors in my team and at least up to 100 persons in my team in the next six months. My main goal actually is to have 100 persons in my team and up to eight rising star mentors. But right now, I'm focused so much 
on making sure that my 90 days recruiting challenge, I'm hitting the goal. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually ensuring that I produce eight rising star mentors. Did you see that? Two goals are there, 90 days recruiting challenge. And the next one is what? To become an influential mentor. Being a rising star mentor is the easiest thing anybody can do in this business in less than two months. What is two months is too much. One month we can become a rising star mentor. What does it take to be a rising star mentor? Have three accounts, then have two people recruited in your business. Simple. Two people recruited in your business, three accounts, you become a rising star mentor. So we are not even putting rising star mentor there. If you are serious about the 90 days recruiting challenge, that is the easiest thing that will just be done and be dusted. So we are working towards becoming an inflation mentor. You want to have 100 persons in your organization and eight rising star mentors. Did you see that? So if a partner asks you the question, what are you doing? What's up with the business? Your response should be about how you are achieving your goals, short term and in long term. And your short term goals, all your answer must reflect the 90 days recruiting challenge. And I always say this, and let me repeat myself, all of you here that are serious about the 90 days recruiting challenge and you have one account, you are doing yourself great harm. I will say it again and again and again. If you are serious about the 90 days recruiting challenge and you have just one account, you are doing yourself great harm. You are not helping yourself. Do you know why? Achieving the 90 days recruiting challenge, just the first month goal. Remember, 90 days recruiting challenge is about recruiting 30 persons in 90 days, meaning 10 persons every month. So in the first one month, listen, in the first one month, recruiting 10 persons, do you know how much you would have made? with three accounts. Very simple calculation. Always remember this calculation I'm going to give you. Anyone that has three accounts ends double of the person that has one account doing the same thing. Anyone that has seven accounts ends minimum as a minimum of times three compared to the person that has one account. And anyone that has um, anyone that has 15 accounts ends minimally times four compared to what someone that has one account will do when they do the same thing. So look at it. If someone that has one account, how much will the person earn recruiting 10 persons in a month? Let's do the simple math. What will be the referral bonus? 10 times 5,000 will give you what? 50,000 naira. That will be the referral bonus, right? I'm correct. Now, what is the matching bonus? Matching bonus, one on the left and one on the right gives you 7,000, right? So if you have... 10 persons, that's five on the left and five on the right. We give you what? Five matching bonuses. Five times seven, five times 7,000, we give you what? 35,000, right? So we have 50,000 plus 35,000 Naira. That will give you how much? 85,000 for one account. If you have three accounts, so see where it plays out for you. That 35,000 Naira, multiply it by two. Because the matching bonus of three accounts is double of one account for the same number. So 35,000 times two gives you 70,000 Naira plus the referral bonus of 5,000 times 10, 50,000. So watch this. With three accounts, you will earn 120,000. With one account, you will earn 85,000. So watch this. Assuming you have to borrow money to make it three accounts, Listen, assuming you have to borrow money to make it three accounts, how much will I borrowed? Let's say 50, 50,000, that's 100,000, right? Good. You already have one account and you're not borrowed 100,000 in order to start this. Listen, you, have, you now have three accounts. By focusing on the 90 days recruiting challenge and having three people and having extra two accounts added to your account and you are able to have your 10 persons in a month, just one month of having 10 persons You've made one around 20,000. That one around 20,000 naira can upset the 100,000. But I always tell people, though, if you are to borrow, don't ever borrow money and tell people you pay them in one month. Don't do that. Even do it's possible. Don't put pressure on yourself too much. Spread it. Tell them 
three months to six months. In fact, I always go for five months to six months. But even though I know, when, you, when they give you five months to six months, put everything on the line and recruit 10 persons in one month. Recruiting 10 persons in one month gives you 120,000 naira. You've cleared it up. I will say it again. This is just 10 persons. So can you now imagine having 30 people? You are losing a whole lot of money. A whole lot of money. If you have one account and you are, and you are going for 90 days recruiting challenge. So that being said, 90 days recruiting challenge is your first assignment. Immediately you join the millionaire school. I'll come again. The 90 days recruiting challenge is your first task. You must, you must have to, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know be consumed with the 90 days recruiting challenge, fulfilling the 90 days recruiting challenge. Don't forget this statement. If you are not goals driven, you will never have true and lasting success. If you are not goals driven. If you're not goals driven, just like the Bible says, where there is no vision, people cast off restraint. Do you know what is restraint? Your goals constrains you. Your goals restrains you on things to do and what not to do. When a man doesn't have a vision for his life, when a man doesn't have a goal to achieve, anything goes. That's why someone like me, you don't, my staffs, they know. You don't come into my office and knock on my door early in the morning. For what? I have things I do early in the morning. You don't come and tell me your own problem early in the morning. I don't do that. I have things I must do because I am goal-driven. When you don't have goal-driven, people can batch into your time and batch out of your time. I'm using time here to sound nice. But the truth is this. Your life is your time. People will patch into your life and patch out of your life because you are not goal driven. Anybody calls you, oh, you are always available. If you're always available kind of person, you are in trouble. Even my own wife this morning, for me to tell her, let's go here, let's she has, ah, I have things to do. I have to, even though I'm on leave, I have things to do. Do you know if she doesn't have anything to do? Oh, wow, oh, oh, everything is out. If you don't have a schedule, a goal you are pursuing, anything comes into your life, and anything goes. And that's how people waste their time and their, their, their lives. Don't tell me the business is not working when you are not working towards achieving a goal. I'm going to close this state. I'm going to close this meeting with this. There is a definition of success that we've adopted in RDI. I need someone here that will tell me that quickly. Can someone define success for me according to RDI? There is someone's definition we adopted in RDI. Can someone give, me, give it to me quickly? What is success in RDI? Quickly, I need someone that will give it to me. What is success in RDI? What is success? Quickly, raise your hand. I'm going to mute you. You say it out. What is success in RDI? I have two basic definitions. Um, um, I have two major um, definitions I never want you to forget. Number one is definition of success. Number two is definition of who a leader is in RDI. Today, I'm asking you for definition of success. How do we seek success? What is success for us in Realistic Dreams Initiative? Those of you that are rising star mentors, there are questions I will ask. If you don't answer me, I will build you 1,000 naira. I'm telling you, and I will show you how I will eat it. I will eat it, I will use it and eat shawarma. I will use it and go and eat unkwabi and eat fresh fish. There is no reason why you should not be the first person to answer me that question. You are a mentor, and if you are a mentor and you can't answer that question, it is disgraceful. Do you know what it means? Then why, what are you mentoring people? You don't know definition of success. According to RODI, the person who adopted his definition of success, and you call yourself a mentor in RODI, no, 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 no. I refuse to accept you like that. No, I love you, but I refuse that. You just, you must know it. I need a mentor here. Mentors, I need you here to answer me quickly. I will forgive you today for not getting it correctly, but just know that if I ever ask these two questions, what is the definition of success according to RODI or who is a leader? In RDI, if I ever ask that question and you're a rising star mentor listening to me and you don't know the answer, 
Just know that that day you are giving me 1,000 naira. How many of you think I'm harsh? If you think it's too harsh, let me see with your hand. If I'm harsh, let me see with your hand if you think I'm harsh. Mommy, mommy, Bola Otoki said I'm harsh. Mommy, oh yeah, you, you connected on video and it's connected just to raise your hand. Oh yeah, unmute yourself. I don't catch you. He said I'm harsh, ba. Unmute yourself, mommy, Bola Otoki. Yes, I, I joined you lately, sir. Good morning, yeah. sir. Yeah, so, mommy, I'm joking. Mommy, <laughs> how can a mentor not know the definition of success in RDI? Why should you be a mentor? <laughs> Okay, mommy, now, if today I tell you the definition of success according to RDI, and then at the same time, definition of who a leader is, if I, say, if I say it today, and you are here in this meeting, and then you can write it down, and keep reminding yourself of it, do you think I'm being harsh to demand 1,000 naira from you for not answering me correctly? Because you can as well open your book and answer me from your book. The fact that you're not answering me and your rising star mentor means that you didn't write it down. So I will stick to it. If you're a rising star mentor here, after today, and I ask you, what is the definition of success? According to RDI, give me the name of the person that we chose this definition. And then I ask you, what is leadership? Who is a leader in RDI? If you don't answer me well, at least read from your note. If you can't do that, you will pay me 1000 because it means two things to me. You, you're not just careless. You are, well, come on. It means you don't have your notes. So let's break it down. What is success in RDI? We chose the definition of L. Nightingale, which says success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal or ideal. I will say it again. Success is the progressive realization. Progressive realization is a present continuous term. Progressive realization of a worthy ideal or goal. You must have a goal that you are progressively working towards achieving. When you are working towards achieving a set goal, that's when you are successful. You are no longer successful when you achieve a goal. I'm saying something now. You are no longer successful when you achieve a goal, meaning once you achieve your goal, it's time to set a higher goal and do what? And work towards achieving it. So success is in the process. Those of you that don't have a goal, the 90 days recruiting challenge as a goal, and you are not progressively working towards achieving it, you are not successful. Success is not in the result, is in the process. The process produces the result. When you focus on the result, you miss the process and you will never get the result. So let me write it down. Okay, oh, people are telling me you are not harsh, sir. You're a great teacher. Thank you so much, God bless you. Let me say it again. Success, don't, and let me say this before I say it again. Some of you, when I ask you questions, you start putting pepper, you start putting Maggi, you start putting salt. You start telling me this is what it means. If I ask you the question, what is success? Don't explain it to me the way you understand. Give it to me exactly as I'm giving you. So write it down that way. Success is the progressive realization. Let me write it down on chat. Or rather, let me open up a Word document. So you will tell me, you won't tell me tomorrow you didn't get it. Success. Let me make it bigger so that we can see it very well. Is the progressive, is progressive. I get and today know the property. That your work yesterday didn't mean you're working today. Is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal or goal?
That's what we call success. That's what we call success, okay? Let me make it bigger for us. All right, so that's what it is. That's what it is. Who said it? L Nightingale. Hope I'm correct with the spelling. Pronounce with the spelling. Yeah. By L Nightingale. Yeah. This is the man that defines success that way. L Nightingale. Don't tell me um, you don't know the name. No, no, no. Write it down now. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal or goal. So as you progressively work towards achieving a goal, you are successful. Who is a leader in RODI? This one, you will not go find them anywhere. This one is us. We decided to choose it. A leader is one who takes responsibility. That's when you become a leader. For one's growth process. Someone tells me I want to be a leader. What you are saying is this: I want to take, I want to start taking responsibility for my own growth process. A leader is one who takes responsibility for one's growth what process. Write it down now. If you're a rising star mentor here. Those of you in Alpha Lion team, write it down. I'm going to get a list of every, I think I have it already. Let me, let me go to Rising Star Mentors this and call out your names. I, you think I'm, not, I'm in your group now? Yes. Lion Rising Star Mentors group. I'm in your group. Look at your names here. I have, I have all your names. I have it here. I have you here. Mami Esther Wajie. Even though I don't have some of your names. Madam Fatima. Madam Ijoma Asuku. Yes, Madam Mary, Daddy Aminu, Maitama, Madam Beatrice, a whole lot of you, you are here. Daddy, Daddy Jonathan Odaba, Bashiri Musa Arungungu, Agungu, Engineer Henry, Daddy uh, Benson Eniola, um, Christiana Ebukaya, Victor Jobodo, Aisha Tubelo, Daddy Abudu Benson, Madam Stella Ohanusi, Daddy Bamidele at Mommy Bami Dele, Akin Lade. See, I have all your names here. So if you think you can hide from me, you cannot hide from me. Those of you in Alpha Light in Success Addicto, you know me. I, I know you all of you. I know all of you. So you must write it down. Write it down quickly. Write it down. Write it down. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal or goal. A leader is one who takes responsibility for one's. That is when you become a leader. When you stop playing games, when you stop blaming people, when you start taking. What will it take for me to succeed? What will it take? Even though we are guiding you here, but you must have that sense of responsibility because that is the only thing that can push you from within. If you are only being pushed by the external motivations, I'm telling you, you can easily be knocked down. Be internally motivated by the things you want to achieve. Let your goal inspire you to and drive you to find out what would it take for me to become a professional in this? What would it take me for me to be a hundred thousand dollar daily earner, monthly earner? What would it take me for me to be a one million dollar monthly earner in the next 12 months? What will it take me? Be a leader. That's, that's, what, that's who a leader is. When you start being driven inwards. Goal setting is one of the most important tools you need to succeed in this business. Stop inviting people to business meetings just for the sake of inviting people. You have a goal before you. What is that goal? Your goal is to make sure that 10 persons attend the live Zoom meeting in a week. That is the goal. That is what you are trying to achieve. Stop inviting people for inviting sake. Stop sending videos to people for sending sake. What are you trying to achieve? I'm trying to get 10 persons to watch the recorded video. That is the goal. That is the goal. That is the goal. Be goal driven. That puts you in a place where you have two people attending live Zoom meeting. You are not satisfied because you know you have a goal to meet. The goal is to have 10. So if you have two, you will sleep. The goal is to have 10 persons recruited in 30 days. So if you have two, you will sleep. 
you can tell yourself, mm, wow, that's a good one. Now I'm going to do it better. I'm going to work harder the second month. I'm going to work harder the second week. Men and women that are not goal driven, they are people that have this mentality of, I have tried. And I always tell, I have tried is language of mediocre. Don't ever say you have tried. Live to say, I made it. Live to say, I did it. I achieved this goal. Stop using all those words. I, instead of saying, I'm doing my best. What is your best? Your best is not getting the result you want. You want me to sympathize with you and feel good with you. Oh, you are, oh, you are doing your best. Oh, you are doing your best. Okay. Oh, let me answer you. Oh, you are doing your best. Oh, oh, your best. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, high five. Oh, I give you a hug. I give you a peck. Uh -huh. You are looking for someone to sympathize with your own productivity. Be goal driven. Be goal driven. Have a direction. Be goal driven. You are going for 30 in 90 days. Be goal driven. Be goal driven. You are inviting people to have at least 10 to attend the Zoom meeting. Don't just invite people. Persuade them. Make sure they attend the Zoom meeting. Today is our business presentation day. If you don't have the script to invite people, contact your leader. There is a script to use in inviting people. Contact your leader. They will send it to you on the WhatsApp. Or go to the WhatsApp group and ask, please, which material, which um, text or phone call, which script do I use to invite people? When you invite people, it's either they choose to attend the live Zoom meeting or they watch the recorded video. Be goal-driven. Your goal is to have minimum of 30 persons to watch our recorded video or attend our live Zoom meeting this week. That is the goal. Don't just invite them and say you have tried. You have not tried anything. Leave to say I made it. And if you are to have 30 persons to watch our recorded video or attend the live Zoom meeting, it means you must be inviting more than 30 this week. So contact your leaders, check the WhatsApp groups, ask the WhatsApp, ask in the WhatsApp group the materials you will use to invite people. Get it. And make sure that by 745 you are here. I always tell people, lateness is a signal of lack of no faith. And people don't exercise faith majorly when the action, the, which is the main ingredient of faith, is not in place. I'll give you an example. I run a business where people, I run a business training. You know, I have a business where uh, uh, I train people on businesses and I expose people to different opportunities. I'm a professional uh, business trainer. So I run seminars and workshops and I will call a meeting with my people and I ask them, how many persons are we expecting for this meeting this weekend? They will tell me, okay, sir, we are having 100 persons attending. Oh, they tell me they want 100 persons to attend. Now look at it. And I ask them, how much money do we spend on adverts? Huh, okay, we don't need to spend too much. We just need to spend this. I say, okay, how many contacts are you expecting to receive? You want to have 100 persons attending your meeting and you're trying to invite only 50. My dear, that's not a show of it. They look at it. When they now go for presentation, when we're not planning for presentation, someone that told you he wants 100 persons to attend the meeting, he'll be packing materials, expecting only 30. Your action is what showcases your true faith, your faith, your faith level. Those of you that come late to my business meeting is because you don't have people to invite. It's because you didn't invite people. If you invited someone and you told the person to attend the meeting by 7.45, you will be there by 7.45. The meeting time is not 8 p.m. This one, I'm with my family now. Trust me, I will keep the time. I'm giving you only five minutes, 10 minutes to have them be there. 7.55, I have started the presentation. And if there is no new person, I will close the meeting. I'm telling all of us here on time. Don't say I didn't say it. 8 p.m. is not the time for the business meeting. It is 7.45 p.m. This one, I'm not in Joso. I'm in my family house. They know the time I use in having my meeting. If by 7.50, 7.55, sorry, 10 minutes after, no new person in the room, I will close the meeting room and I'll send a message on the chat. We have only three days this week to have a presentation. Let's not joke with it. Your time is precious. My time is precious. Be goal-driven. 
So today, I expect us today, minimum five persons, minimum, make sure they attend the live Zoom meeting today and see the miracle happen. How can you invite five persons and I finish talking and the person does not want to register? Uh -uh. When did that one start? It's not possible. If you have invited five persons here and they attended the meeting and I closed on those five and there was no one person that registered, raise your hand. All of you are here. If you have ever invited five persons and they were there in the meeting and I closed on them, I'm not even one wants to do the business, raise your hand. It's impossible. It has never happened. That will show you, can you see how audacious I am? Listen, many of you, you've been inviting people, but they've been coming late. Somebody coming late, I've noticed it. Many persons will come here and come and tell me, sir, I just joined the meeting, and then I will tell the person, contact the person that invited you. If you want people to start registering after listening to me, make sure they attend the meeting early. So don't go and invite people that will attend the meeting 10 minutes after and expect them to pay money. They will not pay money. They will not register. Lie, lie, they will not register. I'm telling you on time. And there is something about a law of compressed activity. We're going to deal with that by tomorrow. If you have five people attend the meeting today, it's easier to have one or two of them registered. I didn't say five. That one in a day, one in a day. Well, I mean five in one day. Do it today. Make up your mind. Break that jeans. Maybe you've never done it before. Tell yourself I'm doing it. Be go driven. Make sure that every of your weekly task, make sure that every of your goals, make sure that whatever you are doing revolves around the 90 days recruiting challenge. God bless you for being here today in this wonderful business. Uh, millionaire school meeting today i'm really really happy we actually shoot beyond our time today but it's quite very very necessary so we'll be able to pass across the information across well god bless you really good do have a lovely and a wonderful day see you at 7 45 p.m i'm, I'm going to be opening the meeting room before 7 45 so that people can start joining okay if at 7 45 your people are not there start calling them tell them to connect immediately because they have only 10 minutes to be in the meeting god bless you Love you all. Bye.